What happened? Yesterday, Brighton, our three-year-old, broke his arm. What happened is Brighton was helping me feed the pigs. And I set him up onto this hay loft. It's about five feet high. I'm about six feet tall. It's actually less than five feet here. And there was a bag of corn. I said, hey, drag that bag of corn over here and we'll dump it in this hole. I ran over here and jumped on this ladder, jumped up, and he was so fast. He grabbed that corn, he must have been dragging it, and let go and fell, and he fell straight into this hole right here. And then he landed in the cleanest area, but he landed in the pig pen. And I just jumped down there and grabbed him, and he was crying. That is, he landed in the pig's bed, honestly. So the rest is like mud and poop, but that area was clean. Thank God for pigs that poop in one area and sleep in another. He was crying and crying and I held him and then I started feeling him over and I could feel his arm was broken right above his wrist. Um, so I just held his arm, stabilized his arm by holding both sides with one hand and um, carried him to the house. Wow. Two breaks in less than four months is that's crazy. <laughs> You can see that the wood I threw on top of some coals just a few minutes ago is about to burst into flame. It's smoldering and smoldering. Wilder's coming out to do the chores with me. Hey Wilder, hey buddy. Hey Wilder. He's coming out to do the chores with me. This dude is my buddy and he, like Brighton, is always happy to come with me wherever I go. I've got this big, messy bale of hay in the barn um, and it smells, I can smell it from here, it smells Fermented. I was talking to Simeon from Swedish Homestead. He, he said he would call this silage hay. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it's yet molded. It smells really good uh, to my nose. But what I'm gonna do to prevent this bale from continuing to ferment, possibly molding, or worst case, catching on fire, which does happen, is I'm gonna pull this bale apart and I'm gonna throw it down through this trap door here into this hay stall, and just so it'll actually be loose. I think what happened with this bale is it probably got baled a little bit wet. We had so much rain this year. My hay supplier actually said he left bales and left uncut hay in his fields because the pastures were so wet he didn't want to tear up the soil. It was crazy talking to Simeon from Swedish Homestead because in Sweden right now they're having a severe drought which has affected the amount of hay um, that's available. They're having a shortage of hay and feed because of their drought. And interestingly, we may end up having a shortage of feed because of our rain. This bale of hay, it may be the last one I can buy from this guy because he said he is a uh, dairy operation and he said that he's got to keep most of the rest of his hay for his cows because he produced so little this year.
try to get him into a nap at the house. Oh my goodness, we have a puppy disaster out here. What are you doing? But where'd you get the collar? But but it, it's a cat collar. It's a cat collar? Who put that on? Gracie. Gracie did? Oh my goodness. He's <laughs> cute. They are cute. Well, who fed them on the porch? I thought they were supposed to be fed at the barn. Um, Gracie. Oh, Mama, be nice. She doesn't even want her babies to steal her food. You guys will get plenty, though, I promise. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh. Kind of. That one looks like the runt of the litter. That one didn't grow very much. What do you think's wrong with that puppy? Nothing. He looks kind of floppy, too, and has lifeless eyes. All right, boy, how are you doing? How's your arm? Uh. Okay, he doesn't want to be filmed right now. Yes. Brighton has been amazingly pretty much pain-free since they splinted his arm yesterday yeah. afternoon. What do you want to show me? Is there a fire? Mom told you to close yeah, it. Yeah, I'm... There's a lot of smoke in here. Yeah, we're not going to let the smoke in. Oh, can I show you? Oh, we'll just open it a tiny crack to look. I'm going to open it. Just a tiny crack. That's it. Yeah. You see uh, the fire? Uh, yeah. He's hey. doing so good. Everyone's loving on him and taking care of him. I made you a really good breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy. A bag? Yes, sir. Can I give me a banana? You want a banana? You already had a banana. I I didn't have I have two bananas. You had two bananas, right. I don't think you need another one right now. Brighton is just our sweet little man. He is a sweet boy. He matches his name, Brighton. Brighton. He's a bright person. And it just broke my heart when he broke his arm yesterday. I just, I didn't really get emotional outside because that's part of my job, I feel like, but I wanted to just cry because he was so I knew how emotional Arthur was because the way he was acting. I know he was perfectly calm and stoic, like, means that he's feeling pretty sad. Because he's just our little, he's just like our little what? sweetheart. I'm not allowed to say he's our baby because he doesn't like that. <laughs> I love how you take these cashmere swear sweaters and wear them to do chores. Yep. So we've had kids for 10 years, well I guess nine and a half years, and we've never been in the ER. And then this year, since April, we've been to the ER five times. <laughs> I was paying the bills the other day and realized, oh, we've been five times. <laughs> Brianna is exercising in here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Joyful is playing in here with Bright Boy. Hey, buddy, let me see your bow. That's cute. You need help with that? One handed? Is that a two handed procedure? I can help you with that here. Uh, I'm doing it with one hand too, but I've been practicing for 30 plus years. <laughs> there we go, got it. Joyful can help you put your train together. Thank you, Joyful. <laughs> We got a cat. I'll have... I put the ice cream store too. Okay. We'll get you some. Yeah. Can I hold this if you're not going to hold it in your hands? Does your ice cream match your cast? Yeah. Yeah. Show me your ice cream and your cast you side by side. Is that it? Yummy. What flavors did y'all get? I got salted caramel and... <coughs> that has chocolate chips in it. Mm. I got chocolate and salted caramel. I got chocolate and salted caramel too. Oh, yummy. What flavor is that? Hey, you birthday. Blue, you blue. Blue? Blue is what matters. And he got <laughs> just a <enough>. napkin. <laughs> hey! Priscilla, my sister, came and helped watch the other kids because we thought the cast was going to be really traumatic, but it turned out that it actually was, he didn't even cry. They didn't have to readjust it or anything. They just took off the splint and put on the cast really quick. It went really good, didn't it? You were such a big boy. How oh. long did it take? <laughs> I bet he wants to eat. Hey! Um, so I forgot one, two, plus.
got a cast on Brighton's arm, so it's a successful day. Yay. Yeah, they're just cast. It's been another great day in the homestead. Y'all have a great night. Bye bye. Silent night. Holy night.